Okay, so here it is. This is the fantastic Plexi Drive Deluxe from uh, Brian Wampler, brand new. Based on the Plexi Drive standard, but with some upgraded features. Uh, basically, you've got now uh, three band EQ, which is active, which is very, very useful. Um, you've also got a couple of switches here. There's a, um, a, a bass boost, which basically acts like a lower volume, adding in the effect of going through a 4x12 cab, or as they say on the website, possibly two 4x12 cabs, which is kind of impressive. Um, and then a bright switch boost, which basically adds in more high frequencies if you're using a dark guitar, which I am at the moment, actually. Um, it's quite a dark guitar, this Fibonari. And then the really, really cool killer feature, this pre-gain uh, TS-style uh, uh, boost if you like or pre-gain boost which is effectively like sticking a traditional kind of mid boost style overdrive pedal in the front end of the amp uh, for real serious saturated sounds or giving it a kick basically to give you more overdrive. So my clean tone sounds like this through this guitar. This is a Fibonari Erotic uh, Custom. This is my signature guitar and it's um, a couple of humbuckers here. These are quite high output Alnico 5s and um, I'll just roll the volume down a little bit. I'm running through a Port City Pearl, which you can't see. Obviously, there'll be a picture of that at the beginning of the video. And uh, my clean sound, tone sounds like this. Through the bridge pickup. So if we switch the pedal on, we use the post gain to switch on. You see the blue LED goes on we get this kind of a tone. Seriously Marshall-like. Now if I switch off the treble boost, uh, because I've got that on for this particular guitar, you'll hear what effect that has. And I'm going to leave it off for the minute. Okay, so very, very amp-like. Have a listen to the uh, dynamic range here. If I pick lightly and softly, it feels and squishes like a, um, a real amp, um, depending on my pick attack. impressive the way it feels and sounds just like an amp. Now if we check out the, the range of gain available first of all, um, let's boost the post gain all the way up and things get kind of like, again if you push the Marshall really hard, uh, you get this kind of a tone, it's kind of cool actually. We'll just drop the level down slightly so we don't clip the front end of the mic. <laughs> rock territory but feels great for lead work it's um, almost to the point of um, saturation just not quite we can use the boost to kind of kick the saturation level in now with the gain set slightly lower well not slightly lower let's drop it all the way back have a listen to how this sounds uh, and I'll switch to the neck pickup for this as well so it's kind it's almost clean but if you dig in you get the grit just bring the level up a little for this If we switch to the neck pickup, I'll go to, uh, to my humbucking mode here. So let's bring the gain relatively high, maybe two thirds of the way up. Play 
play with these EQ controls. So, if we start with the bass, now this can get very bassy indeed, especially if you use this in conjunction with the bass boost, which we'll do in a minute. But if we increase the bass all the way, through my particular amp, because I've got a very bass heavy head, um, the Port City Pearl is very bass heavy, that's too much. So if we back off, now if you had, something like an AC30 for instance, or a Fender Twin, um, something like that where the bass wasn't as pronounced, although on Fender Twins it can be quite high, uh, you can use that bass control to bring in lots of bottom end. But if we duck it out, we get a kind of um, less kind of woolly tone. <laughs> Now, in conjunction with the bass boost, if we bring that in, you can hear what effect that's having. And if I bring the bass back up again with the bass boost, kicking out more bottom end now here. And if you were running at low volume, which I am pretty much here, I've got an attenuator going as well. We're getting lots of um, lots of kind of push through the bottom end of the, the signal there, which is great at this low volume. So if I take that out again, let's play with the mid control. Okay, let's dime the mids, and this is gonna get very fruity. <laughs> Okay, so a real nasal tone if you so desire. And again, this allows you, this active EQ section, to really tailor the pedal for every guitar that you're playing. So I'm kind of going to the extremes here. They may not suit this particular instrument, but you can really tailor the tone to fit with any guitar that you've got. So if you've got a Tele or a Strat Star guitar, single coils, humbuckers, you can really tailor the sound. So if we back the mids off now and have a listen. <laughs> So we can get that kind of scooped effect if I dime the gain, bring the treble, drop the bass down. Very cool indeed. Now with the treble control, again we've got a bit more control with this particular pedal because We've got the bright switch as well, so the bright boost. So at the moment the treble's quite high, let's dime it all the way up, bring the gain down a touch. Okay, now if we back it down to about halfway. Again, really smooth, very nice and easy to play. I really like it in that mid position. Now, with it in that mid position, let's bring the bright boost in so you can hear the difference. Gives it a really nice snarl, a very musical snarl. And because it's one of Brian's pedals, if you back the volume down, you basically clean things up just like an amp. Okay, now the post gain section, if we just bring out the bright boost. Okay, this is where things get into the territory of serious gain levels and um, lots of feedback, all that kind of fun stuff. So if we have the post gain set, again, about two thirds of the way up, this is the tone that we've got. And again, I'm on the uh, bridge humbucker here. <laughs> Now, 
Now if I bring in the post gain, now I've got this about halfway up, we get this. Just sustains for days and days. Now there's a slight level drop, so I need to bring the level up here just a little. Bit. Here yeah, we're getting loads more gain and also that kind of mid boost that you would get from sticking a TS style pedal in the front of an amp. Very, very authentic indeed. Now if you look at where the gain settings are on both sides, we're actually only just, just over halfway up. So if we increase the post gain and the pre gain. Uh, okay, so this is what we get. <laughs> amazing I have to say uh, and again whilst it's super saturated and there's a ton of gain on there it's not getting fuzzy or woolly it's very defined and it's super easy to play with it's just insane how easy this is to play with this sound so if we go all the way up you can hear it's an impressively low amount of noise actually <laughs> If that doesn't sell it to you, nothing will. That's an insane amount of gain and really, really, really easy to play and well defined. So, incredible levels um, of gain going on. Now, one other thing that's really cool to show you, if we just bring everything down a second, is of course you can also use the pre gain section on its own in front of an amp or in front of another pedal, for instance. So, one thing I'm going to do now is here's the pre gain section on its own. <laughs> Bridge pickup, I'll go into, sorry, the neck pickup, I'll go into single call mode. So that's worth using on its own or, um, in, a, in a kind of overdrive context and give you a different sound altogether. Now, one thing I can do, if I just switch that off a second, is I'm on my pedal board here and I'm going to go to my um, dual fusion pedal, uh, which is my signature pedal that Wampler make. And here's the, um, the, the, uh, the, the vintage channel on its own here. <laughs> Okay, now I can use the plexi drive to boost that front end. Now if I switch that on now. And then off again. And on. Increasing the gain. So that's really impressive and useful to have. And if you think about all the other drive pedals that are out there that would benefit from having a boost like this, a mid heavy kind of um, pre gain boost in front of them, well, the possibilities are almost limitless. So it adds like another channel effectively to any existing overdrive pedals you've got. Um, not just the Plexi Drive Deluxe, but also any other existing pedals you've got. Okay, so that's the Plexi Drive Deluxe, amazing new overdrive pedal from Brian Wampler. Tons of features, tons of really cool sounds. Very, very uh, well worth checking out if you're into anything like Marshall-esque kind of sounds, British sounds, but also bear in mind the flexibility of this pedal due to the active con EQ controls and also the uh, pre-gain boost. 
makes it a really great tone crafting tool. So uh, check it out. Hope you've enjoyed this demo, guys, and I will see you next time. Thank you.